Welcome to How To Music Tip, this is part one in this series. Just a quick introduction as to what the series is going to cover. We're going through the manual of the Zoom MS70 CDR Plus, which is a guitar multi-effects pedal. We'll be breaking it down into less than two minute videos at a time. This should hopefully save you time as you only need to watch the videos that you want to. The MS70 CDR Plus has 100 patch memories. Uh, you can chain up to six effects at a time. And you have effects from various categories, including dynamics, filters, special effects, modulation, delay, and reverb. You also get a tuner and the helpful preselect function. And you can also use the, use the handy Guitar Lab, which is available for iPhone and iPad. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part two in this series. Controls Overview. Now you get the display, which uh, shows things such as information for patches, parameter values, and the menu when navigating various settings. You get your output jacks on the left hand side. You can connect the MS70G Plus to another effect or direct to an amp. And you have the choice of mono or stereo output. And you get your parameter knobs, which are located just under the display. Use these to adjust parameters, make various settings and navigate the menus. You also get your direction buttons located around the main foot switch. And you get up, down, left and right. Use these to scroll effects and to change patch memories. With some practice you may be able to operate these by foot. Get your input jack on the right hand side. Connect your guitar here. You get the option of mono or stereo input if you're connecting from another effect. Uh, then you get your on off indicator which is in between the up and down uh, buttons um, this is the indicator light to let you know if the current effect is on or off uh, you get your main foot switch in the middle use this to turn effects on and off on the rear you get a usb port uh, this is usb type c used to connect to a computer iphone or ipad uh, it also supports usb bus power uh, you get the DC 9 volt connector. Use this to connect a Zoom AD16 power supply. This is not supplied with the unit. Uh, under the unit, we'll also find a battery compartment where you can use two AA batteries to power the unit instead. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part three in this series. Navigating the home screen. Uh, when you switch the unit on, the home screen will appear, which is shown here and it will show effects in the current patch memory. Uh, you can use the up and down buttons to navigate between patch memories. And then you can use the left and right buttons to navigate between the effects within the current patch. If you are on the menu screen, press exit to return to the home screen which is this parameter knob. And if you're on the library screen, uh, press the foot switch to confirm the selected effect and return to the home screen. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part four in this series. How to access and navigate the library. You can access the library to change an effect or when adding an effect. Use the scroll buttons to select an effect uh, press the library knob to open up the library and this will open the library screen. Uh, to navigate the library use the up and down buttons to change between effects in the same category and use the left and right buttons to navigate to a different category. If you are in the process of changing or adding an effect in your chain, once you have made your choice of effect, press the main foot switch located here to confirm the selection. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part five in this series, how to turn the unit on and off. To start with, minimize the volume on your amp if you are using batteries, open the compartment on the bottom of the unit and insert two AA batteries. Then replace the cover. Uh, to turn the unit on and off when using batteries, 
Simply insert your guitar cable to the mono input jack. This will turn the unit on. To turn it off, just remove the guitar cable from the input jack. Uh, the unit will not power up if you just insert a cable into the right input jack. If you are using a Zoom AD16 adapter to power the unit, it will turn on as soon as the main switch has been turned on. To turn the unit off, just switch off the mains and disconnect the adapter. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 6 in this series. How to turn effects on and off. To turn an effect on or off, first of all navigate to the patch memory with an effect you wish to turn on or off. To do this, use up and down to select between patches and then use left and right to select the effect you want to turn on or off. By pressing the main foot switch you will now turn the current effect either on or off. The LED between the up and down foot switches will either be lit up, indicating the effect is on, or unlit, indicating the effect is off. If the effect is off, the effect is also shown as faded on the screen. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 7 in this series. How to change an effect in the chain. To change an effect that is in the same category, first of all use the left and right foot switches to select the effect you want to change. Press down on the library knob which is located here. This will open up the library and you can use the up and down foot switches to select another effect that is in the same category. Once you have chosen your effect, press the main foot switch to confirm your selection. To change an effect to an effect in a different category, first of all use the left and right foot switch to, to select the effect you want to change. Press down on the library knob located here. This will open up the library and then use the left and right foot switches to change between effect categories. and then use the up and down buttons to select a, an effect in that category. And when you're finished, press the main foot switch to confirm your selection. Uh, please note that only one effect from the line selector and BPM module can be added to a patch memory. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 8 in this series. How to adjust effect parameters. Once you have navigated to the effect that you want to make adjustments of, using the up and down buttons to change patch, and then use the left and right buttons to um, select the effect in the patch, turn one of the parameter knobs to start making adjustments. You'll see this parameter screen come up on the screen. Each knob corresponds to the parameter shown directly above it on the screen. So this knob would be for presence, decay, tone and mix. Turn the knob to make adjustments to your chosen parameter. Just like so. If an effect has more than four parameters that can be edited, an arrow will be shown in the bottom left or right of the screen. As you can show that, see there's an arrow in the bottom right. Press the right foot switch to show the second page of parameters. Now the arrow is in the bottom left, press the left foot switch to go back to the previous set of parameters. And then when you're finished, press down on one of the parameter knobs to return to the previous screen. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part nine in this series. How to add an effect to the chain. Once you have navigated to the patch that you want to make adjustments of, using the up and down buttons to change patches and then the left and right foot switch to choose the position to, of the chain you want to add a new effect. Press the add button which is located here. Uh, you will then get a choice of adding the effect to the left or right of the current effect or to cancel the add altogether. Turn the add knob to make your selection and then press down on the add knob. So we're going to add this to the 
left of the current patch. So press down on the add knob and this will open up the library. To add an effect to the chain from the library, use the left and right foot switches to change between effect categories. And then use the up and down buttons uh, to select an effect in the same in that category. Uh, once you have chosen your effect, press the main foot switch to confirm your selection. And I'll add your new effect to the chain. If you try and add an effect that has already got six effects in it, a message will appear on screen. It will say max effects and you'll need to delete one. This means that the patch is currently at capacity and you will need to delete an effect to add another to the patch. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 10 in this series. How to delete an effect from the chain. Uh, to delete an effect from the chain, first of all navigate to the effect you would like to delete using the up and down buttons to select the patch and then the left and right buttons to select the effect to be deleted. Press down on the delete knob which is located here and then you'll get an execute or cancel option. Uh, use the delete knob to make your selection. So if you want to cancel, select cancel but we're going to go ahead and execute. And then press down on the delete knob to confirm your selection and that will remove that effect from your chain. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 11 in this series. How to change the order of effects. To reorder an effect in the chain, first of all navigate to the effect you would like to move, using the up and down buttons to set to select the patch and any left and right buttons to select the effect to be moved. So we're going to go ahead and move this one. Press down on the menu knob which is located here and then turn the menu knob till you get to move effect. It should currently be on move effect and then press down on the menu knob again to enter. This will open up the move effect screen. Once you're on the move effect screen turn the menu knob to move the effect to the desired position. You can also use the left and right buttons to move the effect along the chain. Once you have chosen the position, press down on the menu knob to confirm the new position of that effect in your chain. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 12 in this series. How to add a BPM module to the chain. You can add a BPM module to each chain. This does, however, take up a slot in the chain. You can only have one BPM module per patch. Uh, the benefits of this, though, means that you can have a set tempo for each preset. Navigate to the patch that you want to add a BPM module to using the up and down buttons, and then press on the Add button to open up the library. Use the left button to navigate to special effects and then scroll up till you find BPM and then add that to your chain by pressing the main foot switch. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 13 in this series. How to set the tempo. Once you have added a BPM module to the chain, there are a couple of ways to adjust the tempo. First of all, make sure that the BPM module is the effect shown on screen using the left and right buttons. Then you can tap the foot switch to the tempo that you require. Alternatively, you can use the first parameter knob to adjust the tempo manually. like so, and then push the uh, parameter knob to close the screen. Or you can press the menu knob and use it to scroll along until you see BPM. Press down on the menu knob to enter. And then you can use the up and down buttons or scroll using the menu knob 
to set, set the BPM and then press down to enter. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 14 in this series. How to change patches. To change patches you need to use the up and down buttons. Up is located here, down is here. Uh, press the up button to move up through the patches and press the down button to move down through the patches. When moving through the patches shown on the screen will be the patch number at the top, uh, the patch name in the middle and then at the bottom will be how many effects are in the chain. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 15 in this series. How to activate and use the pre-select function. Uh, the pre-select function allows you to navigate to another patch without having to cycle through the sounds of every patch in between. This is ideal for changing to a patch that isn't directly above or below in the patch memories. First of all you need to turn this on, so you need to press the menu button located here and then use the menu button to scroll until you see pre-select and then press down on the menu button to enter the pre-select screen say menu button select on and then press down to enter to ex execute your selection and then exit the menu now that we have turned the pre-select function on you can use it while navigating patch memories. To change patches, start by using either the up or down buttons to navigate to your next patch. The sound will not change and you will remain on the last selected patch. Uh, once you have chosen your new patch, you'll notice that the on off indicator is currently blinking. When you've selected your patch, to execute the switch to the new patch, simply press down on the main foot switch and you'll instantly change to the new patch that could have been however many uh, patch memories away and instantly an effect in the new patch will be shown on the screen. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 16 in this series. How to change the name of a patch. Once you're on the patch you wish to change the name of, press down on the menu knob located here and then turn the knob until you see patch name which is located here and then press down on the menu knob to enter the patch name screen. Uh, to delete a character, press down on knob number 2. To delete all characters, press and hold down on knob number 2. To move the cursor, you can turn knob number 4. Uh, to change the character, turn knob number 3. Just like so, when you've finished, press down on knob number one to confirm the name change. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 17 in this series. How to save a patch. By default, the auto save is on. If it is off, you have to save changes manually. To do so, press down on the menu button and turn knob number four to navigate to save patch located here. Press down on the menu knob and then turn knob number four to change the destination of the patch if required. So we'll go and save it in the same place. Um, if you've changed or you want to keep it in the same place when you're ready press down on the enter knob. You'll get an execute or cancel message. You can turn knob number four to make a change and then press down on knob number four to execute. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 18 in this series. How to copy a patch. To copy a patch to another location, press the menu knob located here. And then turn knob number 4 to navigate to copy patch, which is located here. Press down on knob number 4 to enter. And then you can turn knob number 4 to select a new destination to copy the patch to. So go ahead and pick there. When you've made your selection, press down on the enter knob 
you'll get an execute or cancel message. You turn knob number four to make your selection. We're going to go ahead and execute. So press down on knob number four when you've made your selection. And that will copy that patch number 18 to patch number 30. Um, if the auto save function is off, uh, save patch will appear instead of copy patch. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 19 in this series. How to delete patch memories. Start by navigating to the patch that you wish to delete using the up and down buttons. And then press the menu knob to open the menu and turn the menu knob to select erase patch. Located here. Press down on the menu knob to enter. You'll get a cancel or execute option. We're going to go ahead and execute and delete the patch altogether. Um, press down on the menu knob to enter. And this will completely erase patch number 30. And you'll see it's currently empty. And then you'll get the um, select effect screen come up because it's a completely empty patch. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 20 in this series. How to create a patch memory. To create a new patch, first of all press the menu knob located here to open the menu. Turn the menu knob to select new patch located here. Press down on the menu knob to enter. This opens a screen to select a new patch destination. Uh, turn the menu knob to select a destination and then press down once your location has been decided. Patch memories that are labelled as empty contain no effects. So we're going to press on number 30. You'll get an execute or cancel message. We're going to go ahead and execute. Once you have chosen the location, the select effect screen should appear as it does on the screen now. Press the um, library knob to start adding effects. Uh, once you've chosen your first effect, press down on the main foot switch to add it to the chain. If there are no empty patches within your patch memories, new patch will not be shown in the menu screen. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 21 in this series. How to restore a patch to its original state. On the patch that you want to restore, press down on the menu knob located here and then turn the menu knob until you see revert patch located here and then press down on the menu knob. Uh, you then get the option to revert back to the previous state or factory default. Uh, previous restores the patch to the state it was in immediately after selection. So if you've made any changes you don't like, you can go back to how it was before you immediately selected it. Or you can go to factory. This restores the patch back to its original factory settings. Turn the menu knob to make your selection. So you could select factory, cancel or previous. We're going to go ahead and select factory. Once you've made your selection, press down on the enter knob and it will revert that patch back to its previous factory settings. Welcome to How To Music Tech. This is part 22 in this series. How to activate and use the tuner. Uh, to open the tuner, press and hold the main foot switch located here. Uh, this will not work if the current effect being used has a special function that requires the foot switch to be pressed down. Uh, you'll need to select a different effect to enter the tuner. Uh, to close the tuner, to simply press the foot switch again. Play the open string of the string you wish to tune. Uh, the nearest note will be displayed on screen. When the pitch is correct, the arrows on either side will be displayed and the backlight will turn green. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 23 in this series. 
How to set the tuner output method. Open the tuner by pressing and holding the foot switch. Uh, once on the tuner screen, turn knob number one to change between bypass and mute. Uh, if you're on bypass, which is on now, the guitar sound is output with the effects bypassed. Or you can turn this to mute so that now no sound is output at all. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 24 in this series. How to adjust the standard pitch of the tuner. Open the tuner by pressing down on the and holding the foot switch. Once on the tuner screen, turn knob number 2 to adjust the standard pitch. Uh, it's currently set on 440, but it could set, be set anywhere between 430 and 450 Hz for middle A. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 25 in this series. How to set the tuner type. Um, open the tuner by pressing and holding on the foot switch. Now this will open up the tuner screen. And then you can turn knob number 3 to set the tuner type. Uh, chromatic shows the string being tuned to the nearest semitone. Uh, any others will show a number on the screen instead of the nearest note. Uh, selecting another tuner type will result in the tuner showing the nearest string number to the string being tuned. So for 6 it will show, be showing the low E string, 5 for the A string, 4 for the D string, 3 for the G string, 2 for the B string and 1 for the high E string. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 26 in this series. How to use flat tunings. Open the tuner by pressing and holding the foot switch. Uh, once you're on the tuner screen, ensure that you have a tuner type other than chromatic selected by turning knob number three. So we're gonna go and pick guitar, but there are others to choose from. And then you can use knob number four located here to select how many semitones flat you would like to tune your guitar. So you can choose up to three semitones flat so when you start tuning, the nearest number on screen will be the, the string that you're tuning, but it will be tuning it flat by however many semitones you've, you've picked. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 27 in this series. How to adjust the overall output volume. Press the menu button located here, and then turn the menu button until you see output volume. Uh, press down on the menu knob to enter and from there you can turn the menu knob to set your output volume it can be anywhere up to 120 when you've made your selection press down on the enter on the menu knob again to enter and then press down on the exit knob to exit the menu welcome to how to music tech this is part 28 in this series how to set the auto save function Press the menu button located here to open the menu and then turn the menu knob until you see auto save. Press down on the menu knob to enter. And from there you can turn the menu knob between on and off. Uh, once you have made your selection, press down on the menu knob and then press down on the exit knob to exit the menu. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 29 in this series. How to set the sound on the library screen. Press the menu button located here and then turn the menu button until you see library sound. Press down on the menu knob. And from there you can turn the menu knob to select between single effect sound or patch memory sound. Single effect sound allows you to check the sound of just a selected effect in the library and patch memory sound allows you to check the sound of the entire patch when changing an effect in the library. Once you have made your decision, press the menu knob to confirm and then press the exit knob to exit the library. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 30 in this series. How to set the type of batteries being used. 
Press the menu knob located here and then turn the menu knob until you see battery type. Press down on the menu knob and from there you can turn the menu knob to make your selection. You can select alkaline, uh, nickel metal hydride or lithium. Uh, once you've made your decision press down on the enter knob and then press down on the exit knob to go back to the home screen. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 31 in this series. How to adjust the backlight brightness. Press the menu knob located here and then turn the menu knob until you see backlight. Press down on the menu knob. From there you can turn the menu knob to select either normal or bright. Normal is regular brightness and bright makes the backlight brighter. Once you've made your selection, uh, press down on the menu knob to enter and then press down on the exit knob to exit the menu and go back to the home screen. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 32 in this series. How to adjust the display contrast. Press the menu button located here and then turn the menu button until you see contrast. Press down on the menu button to enter and from there you can turn the menu knob to adjust the display contrast. When you're finished press down on the enter button and then press down on the exit button to exit the menu. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 33 in this series. How to set the eco mode. Press the menu button located here and then turn the menu button until you see eco mode. Press down on the menu button and from there you can turn the menu button to toggle between either on or off. Um, if it's on it means the unit will power down if unused for 10 hours and if it's off it means the eco mode is disabled. Uh, once selection has been made, press the menu button to confirm and then press the exit knob to exit the menu. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 34 in this series. How to check the current firmware. Press the menu button located here and then turn the menu knob until you see version. Press down on the menu knob and from there you will see the current version for the system, uh, the preset and the boot. Uh, to exit, press the add button located here and it will take you back to the home screen. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 35 in this series. How to restore to default factory settings. Press the menu knob located here and then turn the menu knob until you see factory reset. Press down on the menu knob. You'll get an are you sure message. Uh, turn the menu knob to yes or no depending on what you want to do. We're going to select yes. Press down on the menu knob to confirm. You'll get a processing and complete message. And now the unit will be reset back to its factory settings. Welcome to How To Music Tech, this is part 36 in this series. How to set the channel used to receive USB MIDI. Press the menu button located here and then turn the menu button until you see USB MIDI channel. Press down on the menu button to enter. And then you can turn the menu knob to make your selection. If you set it to Omni to receive program changes on all channels but you can also choose a specific channel all the way up to 16. When you've made your selection, press down on the menu knob to confirm and then press down on the exit knob to return to the home screen.
Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe for more tutorials on this unit and others to come. If you would really like to help the channel, please consider becoming a member. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye.